everyone, welcome back. This is Luna Keyblade, and we're on part 7 of Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. And last time we stopped, we found. We arrived in the town of Cattery, and right now we're inside this weird church where this priest or something passed out. This is apparently a church where they worship Zeo. Zeo! Zeo! Okay, that's not creepy at all. I came here from the Motavia Academy. No, this will come into play later, so try to remember this. If not, no big deal. Schoolwork is so stupid. We, the believers of Zeo, are the chosen people. Those ignorant masses living in idleness. These are exactly the people that should be purged at the hands of Zeo. Okay. This is a church where we worship the great Zeo. Zeo says he's going to cleanse this soiled land with the fires of destruction. And then he's going to build a utopian society populated with only the finest citizens. How wonderful! The thought makes me tingle! Great. It's only we believers that Zeo will lead to the new world. Zeo is at his fort where he teaches and guides us. How thankful we are to him. I don't see him doing much guiding, but okay. That's Zeo's fort which soars just east of Cattery. It is our symbol. It is our castle of hope. Only after the destruction can we create a new world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this in several other fictional works, so... Anyway... Let's get out of here and... I think we've... Oh, Zeo the Holy One! I may have already talked to this person last time, I don't remember. That inn in the back of the town... I used to frequent that place, but recently... I can't go in even if I wanted to. Hmm. Anyway, um, I think we're pretty much done here. Is everyone healed up? Yes, they are, so we are going to head on to Zeo's Fort. Let's check what, what's this... Okay. It's an invisible barrier. We can't go forward. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that later then, I guess. Ah, yes. This guy. Oh, shoot. I forgot he knows that spell. That raises his defense, which could make him a lot harder to kill. Or not. This one first. Ugh. Probably not real bad with um our with our most pa more powerful party members, but it's still a bit annoying. Yeah, these guys can't stand up to physical attacks very well, so we'll get rid of them quickly. Well, maybe. <laughs> if everyone will stop missing. There we go. Okay, let's go down here. There's a treasure. Ooh, 2000 Meseta. Nice. 
it'll be sure to make use of that later. I think that maybe I'm supposed to go over here first. Like, this just leads to a dead end, probably. Yeah. Oh, there's something here. Well, that was a waste of time then. So, we were supposed to go just this way. And before we actually take the stairs or go any further, I'm going to go down here and pick this up. A moon dew. That'll come in handy. Now we'll go up the stairs, and there should be something else here, I think. Yeah. Okay, a laser sword. Nice. Yeah, oh yeah, this is very nice. We're definitely equipping this. This is a... Okay, so here we go. That'll definitely be a big help. Okay, now let's see what's down here real quick. Seemed like there was something here. Okay, no, no treasure there. Okay. Yeah, it has been a little while since I played this, so I'm kind of wanting to explore everywhere, so... Sorry if it ends up being a bit of an inconvenience. And here's another... Oh, well, we got another fight to do first. But after that, there's... Ouch. Yeah, definitely need to help heal Alice. Anyway, as I was saying... Oh, fudge. Okay, um, let's go see what this is. A laser barrier. Let's see if Han can use that. And he can. Okay, that's a good defense boost. And I'm going to be going back to uh, Kateri to heal up Alice, so I'll be back right after that. Okay, now I'm back, and it took a little while to get here, but in the meantime, Alice gained a level and learned a new technique, which is G Foey, which is the stronger version of the Foey spell. And anyway, now we'll be going upstairs here. Laser Claw, which is a new weapon for Rika, so that's good too. Because we're going to be needing them 
needing these new weapons that we're getting shortly. And I'm going to do a save state here real quick. Okay, got that done. So let's go up now. Um, who might this guy be? You are. I am Juza. You will never get near Zeo unless you defeat me. Okay, new boss fight. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's use Senner for Alice. Um. For Chaz, we'll let him use this for now. We'll have... Uh, yeah, let's have him use Warcry. Does she know Daybong yet? No, she doesn't. Okay. Well, let's see, what should I have her do? I don't know. Let's see what this does to her. To him. Ouch. I don't think that did anything. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, everyone's pretty much healed up except for Chaz now, but that's okay. Anyway, now let's have um, Chaz start to use his cross cut on this guy. And for Rika, she'll start using double slash. I really do hate that attack. Hmm. Let's see, she'll use Vortex. He'll still use Crosscut. He's going to heal... Hmm. I guess Grizz. And Rika will heal... Chaz. annoying. <laughs> Just a bit. Let's see here. Um, I'll have him heal Rika. Do I have any diamates? No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, lucky. Um, do I have Rika heal Alice? Yeah, there's really no big strategy to beating this guy except just... Yeah, 
keep attacking him and I guess hope for the best. Okay, let's try Air Slash. Um, he's going to heal Chaz. No, not that. Double Slash. Okay, we beat him. So that's good. Chaz gained a level. And so did Han. And Grizz. And Rika. Okay, Rika learned Deb on. Would have been nice to have it during this fight. Then again, it may not have made any difference. I don't know. Okay. So, well, we beat that guy. So now let's go take on Zeo, I guess. Okay, after we take on some more lesser enemies, of course. <sighs> you know what? I'm actually not going to worry about Alice right now because... Actually, should I worry about Alice? Oh man, this is so confusing. Anyway, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. this on the wall. I guess we'll find out after this fight. Han too, but again, I'm not going to worry about it. And you'll see why shortly. Anyway, who is this? What's that? Somebody's been captured. It's Demi! We've got to rescue her. Who, who are you? Alice Bongwen and Company. Thank you very much. You are all injured, are you not? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Allow me. It's the least I can do to show my gratitude. Huh? I feel strength welling up, welling inside me? It's my medical power. My name is Stemmy, and I am in charge of controlling Nervous. Phew, I heard she was supposed to be an android, but this is beyond my expectations. She's no different than a human being. Be that as it may... Demi, can you stop the f transmission of energy to the system that's malfunctioning? You're the only one who can do it, right? Yes, I too have tried to freeze the entire system, but... Go no further. Who's that? That voice. It's Zio. Well, what is this? I feel this incredible menace. Zio, you son of a... Watch your tongue, son. So, you thought you would sneak in while the owner's out, eh, you little sneak thief? Take a look at your own evil self before you dare put us down. Think about all you've done! Hmph. <laughs> so I've wrought damage to Motavia. What's wrong with eliminating worms? Worms? You dare call us worms? You... You... I cannot forgive you! <laughs> Now, now, that's the expression I want to see. A face filled with pain and anguish, begging fearfully for help. A face quivering with anger. Go on, get angry, suffer, and be sad. That would truly be the ultimate offering to me and my great god. Your god? Son of a blast! Come on! Let's go, everyone! 
Wainchess! Zeo, do you understand what's going on? If we don't stop the systems that are running out of control, Botavia itself is going to become an inhabitable. You must let Demi... Total annihilation of life. What a fine thing. Death to all that lives. Destruction to all that has form. That is indeed my desire. That's crazy! My god will not tolerate any life forms in Algo. Everything must be wiped out. And I, with these very hands, will do just that. That means you yourself will be gone too! If my god wishes that to be so, that is also my wish. You... you are out of your mind! Fun and games are over with. Anyone who dares get in my way shall perish. My humble self, who has taken it upon myself to do the wish of my god, shall destroy thee. Oh, the greatest, my one and only ultimate god, Dark Force. Dark Force? And... We get to fight Zeo, maybe? Well, let's see what we can do. Which is apparently nothing. Well, let's see what some text can do then. No, he doesn't have any text. And... She has double slash. One damage! Oh, great. This definitely doesn't look good. <laughs> So, yeah, as you probably already figured out, this is a battle we're not going to be able to win. So, there's really no point in wasting time with it. And in case you're wondering how Alice and Han are alive again, that's what Demi's medical power did in the cutscene earlier. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Chaz, careful! Ugh! Alice? We're in trouble. We'd better make a temporary retreat. I think you're right. We... we've lost. Blast it! Chaz, it's no good! Even Jira's won't, he have, won't repair Alice's wounds. No! Alice! We'd better return to my village, Chaz. Alice... Alice, I have no idea what these symptoms are. It appears she isn't getting any better. That Zeo, there was something different about him from other enemies I've fought. She refuses everything. It's as if she's possessed by some evil power. Damn you, Zeo, you devil! Can we save her if we shut down Nervous? No, that won't work. Nervous is located in the basement of Zeo's fort. Actually, Zeo has erected his fort on top of Nervous. Oh, below that invisible barrier. So we'll have to defeat Zeo after all. If only Rune weren't... Alice, don't talk. Rune should know some way to do it. Alice, don't worry. We'll defeat Zeo somehow. Now listen... With what we have right now, there's no way we can win. We've got to do something about Zeo's magic barrier. Magic barrier? Magic? That, thing so that sort of thing should have ceased to exist a thousand years ago. Come to think of it, Rune was indeed using some kind of magic. Something called flailing. That's right. So if you can get the cooperation of Rune... Oh, Alice! Chaz, who is Rune? Oh, he's a disgusting, conceited jerk. I hate to admit it, but we may have no choice but to ask for his help. Didn't Rune go off somewhere with Grandfather Doran? If he's with Grandfather Doran, perhaps he's gone to the Ladia Tower. 
because he was saying something about opening the gates to the Ladia Tower. What's the Ladia Tower? I'm not quite sure myself, but I hear it's located on a small island beyond the quicksand in the east. Grandfather Doran said that something important is there. How are we going to get across the quicksand? How did Rune and Grandfather Doran do it? That's beyond me. Probably that's where magic comes into play. Don't worry, leave it to me. There's the Land Rover. The Land Rover? What's that? Do you mean to say there's still a Land Rover in existence? Yes, absolutely. The Land Rover is an all-purpose armor-plated car of an ancient civilization. With the Land Rover, crossing quicksand is nothing. If we go to the machine center directly south of here, I'm sure we'll find one. A machine center? Is there such a place? If you come with me, you'll see. Okay, in that case, let's hurry and get going. Will you stay here, Han? What? Uh, but... We want you to remain here and look after Alice. Also, you have a cute girlfriend here. Er, but... Alice, I'm sure we'll find Rune. Chaz... Han, take good care of Alice. Okay, well, this is definitely a sad turn of events. What on earth is this illness she has? I've never seen anything seem to be I've never seen anyone seem to be in so much pain. It's almost amazing she's still conscious. She really is strong willed. Alice, you've got to make it. Oh, Chaz, don't look so miserable. Oh. Alice, don't give up. Well, let's get out of here. We probably need some healing up ourselves. Well, maybe not real not bad, but still wouldn't hurt. Welcome, this is the inn. 60 Masetta, would you care to stay? Yep. Please have a relaxing stay. Thank you very much. Please come again. Okay. Demi said to head south from here, so that's what we'll do. Yikes! That scared me! Please, feel free to enter. Well, okay, I guess I didn't really need to heal up, because I forgot about... Oh, wait, maybe this place doesn't have that. I thought it did. Okay, it does. See, this little machine could have healed us for free, so I guess I wasted time there. Box has been opened. Control key is procured. This place is still alive. It has become independent from Seed and Nervous. A lot of other machines are housed here. But they haven't been used for a long time. They probably need some repairs. I have no idea what these machines are, but this is some place. You're pretty adept at handling these machines. Were you caught by Zia while you were trying to get the system back under control? Yes, that's right. Zia is very violent. Very funny. Defeating Zia is not going to solve the problem. What? Isn't the system being out of control a result of Zio's doing? No, the real cause of the problem is that Zelan has been issuing abnormal commands. Impossible! Not Zelan! Zelan? What's that? Zelan is the central control for the Yago Solar System's environmental maintenance systems. It's an orbiting station on the other side of Motavia. Wow! How are we going to get there? First, let's think about defeating Zeo and stopping Nervous. Yeah, you're right. It's not enough just defeating Zeo? If that's the case, this makes me worry about Dark Force. Okay, and here is our new Land Rover. Looks pretty cool. Don't worry, it'll be alright. I'll start the Land Rover up. Let's go outside. It will be waiting. 
this luster, this massiveness. What a functionally beautiful design. Don't you find it just fascinating? Oh, uh, yes. And this is a good place to stop, so I hope you'll tune in for part 7 of Fantasy Star 4. Part 8, rather, sorry. So until then, this is Luna Keyblade signing out. Take care. See you later. See you next time. Bye.